Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY-26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feelings of emptiness, or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months.
like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. life, but these structures, why don't you scan this one? Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed ran it. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Hey! How exciting! Even more exciting is the fact that the cartographers have detected a trapped fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for basic jump pack. Please use all possible methods to investigate. Oh, it's got a sniffle. Glowy, but maybe useful too. resources to print a brand new jump pack and habitat. Well untested and not necessarily safe, it is guaranteed to be amusing. an upgrade if you wanna. I see you have upgraded your jetpack. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you
you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. Upgrade complete! Ambient temperature, 112 degrees, biosigns, nominal. No. This pod was seemingly designed to protect its contents from the ravages of time. Chim chimney, chim chimney. Looks to have fallen from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago. Rectangular prisms. Now it's twice as annoying. Just shoot it. <laughs> 